Hello! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and on this channel there's a whole lot of makeup content and a little bit of lifestyle thrown in there. And today we are going to do a intro and it is for my Project Pan. This year we're doing it the real Project Pan style. There are going to be use-ups. There are going to be pans and a couple of things that are going to have hefty goals. So uh, this is going to be my first time doing that kind of uh, project pan. I'm excited for it because I want to see how long it takes me. Um, you'll see in my, uh, probably already seen it, hopefully, if not, I'll put it up here, my um, no buy. I talked about I'm going to be putting the goal of trying to wear makeup at least 12 times a month so three three days a week if possible I'm gonna try I'm gonna try <laughs> but I know that to use up things to hit pans you have to use your makeup so I want to you know get better at that um, before I go into what I'm bringing in for the year I wanted to say a few things um, there are going to be um, two, two things that are going to rotate seasonally in this project. One of those things is blush because, you know, I am a seasonal, um, makeup wearer. I'm going to have certain types of blush I want for, you know, winter, spring, whatever. Um, so those will be ro rolling out. I don't really have a goal of how many to use. I did put gold on them, but... It's really just, I want to use that until the next quarter comes and we have a new season and I need to change my blush. Um, I also have that down for the eye palette I have in here, but I am kind of thinking only if I hit pan. Because the one I, I have in here, I think could be a whole year round palette to use so we'll just talk about that when the season changes and I'm supposed to be doing a rotation so it might just be blush that gets rotated otherwise everything else is going to be sticking around until it's done or has pan all right are we ready I'm excited I really really hope I can like do this I want to finish things I want to hit pan I'm always jealous what everybody else is doing. I'm like, I haven't hit one pan yet. Only in super shops, but does that count? Not really. Okay, starting with primers. I am bringing two primers in. I want to bring in the Stila One Step Correct. Um, and we are, I will put a sticker on here after this video, but as you can see, we are right here, right above the Correct. I don't know if you can see that because of the ring light. So I want to use this up. I also brought in the Tarte, do I have it written down? Timeless Smoothing um, Primer. It's just a little travel deluxe size. I think I've used it like two or three times. So there you go. Hopefully you can see what it looks like in there. Um, yeah, I want to use this up. I mean, it's a little guy. I should be able to, right? And I figured I can use both of these because this will just go in like the T-zone, really just right here. And then the rest of this can go all over. So those are my primers. And I want both of those to be finishes. I'm sorry, my allergies are driving me nuts. Okay, you're probably going to see me doing that a lot. And then I'm going to have a nice little Rudolph nose. Oh, I'm wearing my elf shirt. Anybody else, else a fan of elf? Buddy the elf. <laughs> I love that. Oh, like I'm not a Will Ferrell fan, I'm sorry to say. But I love him as Buddy. Okay, moving on, moving on. Foundation, I am bringing in, I have like two, maybe three foundation foundations that I absolutely love and I go to for like, if I'm going somewhere and I know I need to keep my base looking nice the whole time. So one of them is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover. This is like right here, I think. We're at this point. I think you can see that there's a window. But yeah, I think we're like right here. I'll make a, I'll make a mark. 
but I want to use this up. I actually have a backup of this, so really need to use this up. Um, powder. I have the Laura Mercier little tiny thing and this guy. Let's see where he's at. Yeah, there's not that much, but I don't use, hopefully you can see it's like right here. I will, I don't, I don't want to mark this. I'll put a, I'll put a washi ta uh, tape on there to see where we were. Um, I don't wear a lot of powder. Like today I did just to tone down the blush a little bit because it went on a little heavier than I wanted. I know, me not wanting heavy blush. <laughs> I like my blush, but it was really bad. <laughs> so I keep this just to show that it, that's the size that it was. Like, what is that? I think everybody knows that. The, how much is in here? Oh my God. Uh, where'd I put my, my magnifying glass? Man, magnifying? Magnifying, can you? Can you make, can you find me a man? That's what I need. A man of fine class. <laughs> Magnifying maybe? All right. This is 3.5 grams, 0 0.12 ounces. That's what it says. So only an itty bitty bit has been used in this. So hopefully I can finish up in a couple of months. I might force myself to use powder when I don't usually use powder. Uh, mainly I would use it for when I'm using creams. In the summer is when I use this. Because I I usually only wear cream products in the summer. Well, I won't be this year because I have other things in here. But anyways, I usually powder um, when I use cream products so it will stay. Anyways, we'll see what happens with that. The next thing is highlighter. Now this is one I'm not wanting to finish. There is so much in it. Um, this is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. It's one of the little guys. And I've thrown this into two different projects in 2023. But as you can see, there is still a ton. Um, I put... 30 uses and I want to see where it's at at 30 uses and I may decide to bring in another cream highlighter after 30 uses just because I have a lot of cream highlighters and they're gonna go bad so this is one of my favorites I figured I'd start with this guy um, we'll see what happens after 30 if I decide to keep it in and keep in it see how much usage I can get on this sucker. But at the moment, we're saying 30. Um, what was I? Okay, um, I'm also going to bring in a contour, which is the Nude Sticks Nudies Bareback. It's one of the big guys, and I've barely used this, so I am not rolling this up all the way. Just know that it's pretty much full. Um, this is the shade. Oh, I didn't do any. Okay, let me do the bareback. You can use this as a, I know some people use it as a blush, but I think it's a perfect contour. So that's the shade. Blend it out a little bit. And then let me do the milk. Everything else hasn't, wasn't, you know, doesn't have color. Let me do the highlighter above the contour and we'll see if you can even see it. Can you see the highlighter? Maybe a little bit? So those are coming in. I don't have a wipe. Excuse me, I'm gonna be making noise. This is not the ASMR type of noise that people like to hear. The crinkling of paper. No, I don't like it. Okay, where am I gonna put it? Okay, contour now. Okay, so I am, oh yeah, and this is a 30 use goal as well. Um, I don't really have any other contours though, so it's probably gonna stay in all year, but I would like to hit 30 uses every quarter at least. So if I'm refreshing a blush, this better have had already 30 uses. That's my goal. If it doesn't, I'll be a little, I'll, I'll try not to be hard on myself, but that's my goal. I wanna, 
I want to get this used because it's a couple years old already. It smells fine. You know what? All my nude stick in these, they're all perfectly fine. None of them expired and they're all like two, three years old. I'm shooketh. <laughs> all right, moving on. So we did contour it. I didn't talk about this yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, can we see that I'm out of practice? We're going to bring in a bronzer and it's going to be one of my three favorites. Uh, I'm going to try to hit pan on the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Kiss. This is what it looks like. It has use because it, like I said, is one of my favorites. No pan. I don't really think it's even close to pan, to be honest. It might take me all the way to the last month of 2024 to hit pan. So there's my bronzer, contour, and highlights. Um, but I really, 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 really want to see pan on this baby. I was almost going to bring in my Marc Jacobs, but I know that one is, like, impossible to hit pan and then it tends to crack because it's like hollow in the middle or something so like no I can't do that because I love it too much so we'll hit pan on this guy uh the other things blush we are going to bring I am going to bring why do all of us on the panning YouTube say we all the time we're that close of a community that we are doing it together <laughs> I love that though I'm bringing in the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Mo, Mo, is it Mojave? Yeah, Mojave Mauve. So this is the packaging. And I use both of them together. So we're gonna put a 30 use goal on this, but it's actually just gonna be in here until the season change. And then I'll probably go for a brighter blush so again the one I'm bringing in I'll do a swatchy swatch I'm gonna do it on this side because I want to do each one separately and that guy and then together so this is without this is the plain matte this is the shimmer and this is them together love those tones love them um and then we have the eyeshadow palette i decided to bring in um i was talking to of course my makeup monster bestie erica and she was like well if you want to bring in an eyeshadow make sure it's like a quad or just a duo so that way you can still work on your other eyeshadow projects and this one's the one that you're just trying to hit pan on so I decided to go with the essence nothing compares to nude palette it's actually six shades I believe yeah six shades but they're so up my alley like I could use these all year long and be happy um, but I would like to at least have three pans before the year's over so yeah and like she was telling me she told me to look for a new like not a nude for a neutral palette or whatever because then i can like work with this with the other palettes i have in rotation with my singles so i think this was a good choice and like i said it might stay in all year or it might just stay in until i hit a pan um but i would like to hit three pans at least I don't know, but it's also a seasonal thing. Like I might end up wanting something different, but I don't know. I'm like, can't I use this all year round? What do you think? Let me uh, swatch. I'll put it on my arm. Now, if you remember, I have my singles that I work on and um, my ro I have five palettes in my rotation at all times so 
this guy I think would be good for like if I'm missing a setting shade, if I'm missing an inner corner, you know, stuff like that. And then when there's days I just want to like throw something on and get out the door real quickly, this is like a no-brainer. So I, I believe, I believe I can use them <laughs> instead of I believe I can fly. Uh, I'm in a weird mood today. These are very light, so, ooh, that's pretty. Hopefully you'll, did I put that on the wrong side? I sure did. I sure did. Can you see them? <laughs> I'm sorry, I suck. This should be my, uh, my thumbnail. <laughs> it won't be. <laughs> but yeah, that's, those are the shades. Oops, sorry. Don't want to blind you. So I think this will be good. Um, never used it. It's been sitting there. So I think, wait, did I have this in my first rotation when I started that? Maybe this was the one. Or was that the pinky one? I think it was, I like to mauve it, mauve it. I think that's the one I had. So no, I haven't used this one before. All right, so lastly, you know I had to bring in some kind of lip balm, lip gloss something so I brought in the Kosas wet lip oil I think I've used it maybe once or twice it's okay it's just a lip oil but yeah we want to use this baby up I'm not gonna swatch it it's a clear <laughs> so that is everything I'm going to be working on in 2024 some of these are going to be here until the end of the year and others will hopefully move on because they'll be finished so what do you think? You think I made some good choices? Do you believe I can hit pan and finish these products? Um, do you think I should just keep this in all year long or until I hit my three pans? Um, or do you think it would be smart to roll it out during um, one of the seasonal changes? Let me know. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. I am so excited to do this. Um, and I'm hoping that it won't be difficult to keep using these with the other Project Pan products. I do plan on all the other Project Pans I'm doing. They're going to have very small uses, go usage goals because I just want to rotate, 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 rotate. And I was not doing enough of that in 2023. So that's the goal in 2024. All right. I think that's all I got. Um, I'm a little nervous, but excited. So we'll see what happens. Alrighty, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. I need the love. I haven't been around and I'm losing people. That's okay. Um, I forget all the things. Do all the things. You know, like Shelly asks you to do. Do all the things. Because my brain just totally went bleh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> um, but really, uh, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe out there during this holiday craze. Isn't it interesting how people are always like, oh, it's so good to be during the holidays. Oh, it's so like nice and lovely. And then you get out on the road or in a shopping center and it's all evil people. People are trying to kill you. So I'm hoping that y'all are being safe while you're out there during this holiday season and not allowing those Scrooges and Grinches to take the buddy out of you. <laughs> Be more like buddy. All right. I know. I'm a dork. Okay. I do love you all and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yay, 2024! Please be good. <laughs>